YouTube. Today I'm going to be speaking on an important topic related to technology and how it affects our health. It is 2021 and technology has become more embedded in our daily lives and for many of us has become an essential need. It just seems like we're hearing more and more about cancer and I have no doubt that how we live today is an attribution to the cost. Now the purpose of this video is to bring awareness and help educate you on what EMF is. If you've never heard of EMF before, this quick video will get you up to speed without spending too much time. There's plenty of information on the internet, and make sure you do your due diligence before drawing any conclusion. In addition, this is a two-part video series, so make sure you check out the second video for the test results and recommendation on EMF testers and EMF neutralizers. First, let me start off by asking you if any of you have any of the following technology in your home. A wireless router, a cell phone, a microwave oven, a dishwasher, TV or video games like an Xbox and PlayStation, a laptop and a computer, a Bluetooth, electrical wiring, coffee maker, and I can just keep going on and on. And from that list, it seems like practically everything in your house you would use on a daily basis. Now, I would bet that by a landslide that most of you had said yes to this list, which means that there's a great chance that you've been exposed to EMF to some degree. Also, keep in mind that these are just some of the things that radiate EMF. Now imagine how many more hidden technologies might, might be causing harm to our health without us realizing it. So what is EMF? Starting with a few basic facts, EMF stands for electromagnetic field, which are waves or radiation energy that is giving off from various technology devices in and out of your home. So the main source for EMF is from our technology. There are two types of EMF exposure, we categorize them with low-level radiation, which also referred to as non-ionizing radiation, which are thought to be less harmful for people. Um, examples of low-level radiation technologies include Wi-Fi routers, computers, Bluetooth, cell phones, microwave, and power line. Now, even though it's considered low-level, any form of long-term EMF exposure can lead to possible harm, therefore should be minimized. Now the second type of exposure for EMF is considered high-level radiation, also known as ionizing radiation, which are considered more serious. High-level radiation often comes in the form of ultraviolet rays, which are similar to the effects of the sun. Hence, long-term sun exposure causes skin cancer. And x-rays and certain medical imaging machines are also in this category. This is why doctors would often give you heavy pads to place on your body parts whenever you're getting an x-ray, just to minimize their radiation exposure. So let's review some of the reported symptoms of EMF exposure and possible long-term effects. Let me add that there have been debates about EMF and its link to cancer, so you can take this information for what it's worth and just do your own research as well. People have reported tiredness and fatigue, headaches, painful and itchy sensation, dizziness, irritability, Weight loss, loss of appetite, nausea, lack of concentration, depression, and sleep disturbance are some of the common symptoms of how EMF can affect your body's nervous system function. And there's also risk to damaging human cells. Here's some information I found on the internet related to those with long-term exposure to EMF. There have been reports of people who use cell phone close to their ears suffer from some sort of cancer that occurs in the brain and spinal cord. And those with high exposure to EMF showed an increased risk of certain types of leukemia in adults. Low EMF can also cause various neurological and psychiatric problems in people. Here are some helpful tips that can help you reduce EMF exposure today. Starting with cell phones, instead of using the cell phones, putting it directly to your ear, consider using earbuds or maybe the speaker uh, instead of putting it close to your ear when using it. You can also shut off your phone while sleeping or keeping it a few feet away from you. So you can also turn off the Bluetooth when it's not being used. There's no need to keep it enabled unless you're actively using it. You can also try unplugging any electronic device when it's not in use. Not only will you save money on electricity, it would also reduce the amount of EMF that's radiating in your home. Having this knowledge and awareness will enable you to react and manage the situation more effectively, which includes keeping a good distance from any EMF radiating sources. 
Normally you're at greater risk within three feet of the source, so keeping a good distance will reduce that exposure. And the last thing you can consider is getting EMF neutralizers. And uh, in my next video, I'm actually going to be reviewing one that I've purchased and should consider using EMF neutralizer to bring balance against any technologies emitting EMF. So the purpose of this video is to bring awareness so that you can better manage your health. While there's still no strong evidence on its full effect on human health, it's best to keep yourself informed on the subject as more and more research are being conducted. We cannot control what's happening today, at least immediately. It's best to understand how to reduce exposing yourself to EMF. And it's just as important to continue to educate ourselves and be aware of the ongoing development of what's happening in our world today. Hopefully this video was helpful and brought awareness to EMF and gave you basic understanding of what it is. Feel free to share your knowledge in the comments below. And if interested, watch the next video for the test results and protection from EMX exposure. I'll do also product reviews for a really good EMF tester and see if the EMF neutralizer works. Also, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and visit thatguyreviews.com for more interesting content. Until then, see you in the next video release.